Hello and welcome to Easy Maths. In this video, we're going to focus our attention on an example on the area of tangents and how they're related with them um, with circles. And so, let's turn to the example. So, before us is a question. We are told um, that in this diagram here, that um, O is the center of the circle, BA and BX are tangents. So B A and B X are tangents and to 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 the circle. We're also given that O C D is thirty. So O C D is thirty degrees and A B is four. A B is four and uh, D B is two root three. So D B from this 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 point D to B is two root three. So find X and Y. Obviously those are angles. This angle X and the angle marked Y here and the length eighty. Now, part A, as we begin. Now, we, we know that there's a right angle triangle, ADB, and therefore, cos x is equal to adjacent of hypotenuse. In our case, DB is adjacent and AB is a hypotenuse. So, 2 root 3 divided by 4 should give us cosine of the angle marked x here. And then we can actually say that x is cos inverse of root 3 over 2. If you simplify this, you're going to get a 2 cancelling with a 2 here, so we have root 3 over 2. So cos inverse of that should give us the value of x. And from common angles, which students are familiar with at this point, they actually don't need to use a calculator or math table at this point. x is obviously 30 degrees. Now, ADB is a right angle triangle at D. ADB is a right angle tr triangle at D, and I had said that. As we move on to so for y, we need to understand that DAB, that is uh, the angle DAB is, if you add it to 30, the one you just got in there, should give us uh, 90. Because, you see, if ADB is a right angle triangle, and the angle at D is 90, it means the sum of the two others should be 90. And therefore, this equation is actually true. That tells us that uh, DAB must be 90 minus 30, which is uh, 60. So DAB is 60. DAB, this angle here, must be 60 degrees. Now, moving on, we also say that uh, the angle OAB is equal to 90. OAB is equal to 90. Um, in a previous video, and you can always uh, check it out, uh, the previous one, the one posted just before this, we say that the angle between a radius and a tangent of a circle is always 90 and therefore in our case OAB is 90 OAB is 90 degrees again we also know that uh, OAD that is OAD should be 90 minus 60 the reason is um, um, you see we say that uh, OAB is 90 and yet we had to say that uh, DAB is 60 just here so we know that uh, OAD should be the, the remainder from 90 if you subtracted 60 and so that value there is uh, 30 degrees again OCX the angle OCX again is 90 because the angle between the radius OC and tangent XC or CX if you like is also 90 now if that's the truth then we can say that Y this angle here plus OCX um, we say OCX this angle here then plus 30, plus 30, 30 is this small angle here. Then plus uh, OAD, OAD should be 180 because we have a triangle AXC where we have um, so many angles there. The angle marked Y, there is this angle here between CX and uh, OC. Then there is this angle 30, we're just moving um, respectively here. And then we have the angle DAO or OAD, this angle here. If you add all of those ones, you should get a 180 degrees. And yet we know some of them. Like OCX, we just said it's 90. OCX is 90 degrees. 30, 30, as we, all, we have shared, showed that in a few moments ago. And then we can therefore say that uh, Y should be 30 degrees. So that we have a 90, ma sorry, 180 minus some of these ones. The answer should be, should be 30 degrees. That way we have gotten the answers for the part A, that is X and Y. Moving on to part B, we we know that tan X is equal to AD divided by 
2 root 3 so tan of x this this angle here tan of x should be um, equal to the distance ad divided by the the the, the yes the adjacent there because tan is normally equal to opposite adjacent so tan of this angle should be the opposite divided by the adjacent ad is we don't know what it is we know x so x we said earlier is 30 so we say tan 30 equals to uh, the opposite divided by the uh, 2 root 3 and yet we had say that ad is is actually ad is what we are being asked there so we can do a cross multiplication and ad will uh, be tan 30 times um, 2 root 3 now we know that tan 30 from common angles normally is 1 over root 3 and therefore multiplying this should give you the answer to be 2 centimeters and that tells you that the angle um sorry the length ad is actually 2 centimeters as, as i've proved there and that brings me to the end of that particular lesson check out for more now for this time round, we're going to go to tangents to two circles as we look at uh, some more complex uh, concept and their respective examples um, thank you and look out for more